Um, do I look good? Do I, I don't know. Probably not. Wow, thank you. Yeah, you see, I have, I have my support out here. Okay, money and happiness. Okay, first of all, happiness. Like, what the fuck is that? Who says that? <laughs> Who says <laughs> that? Doesn't <laughs> you know? Just ideas coming, spitting it out because it's a mess in here. You know, like all of these videos, everything is just like me trying to rearrange this mess that's somehow here. Just like this video, hey. <laughs> no, but for you, I rewrote the script for this video at least six times, and it still was a mess. And well, these videos look like their main goal is to spark thought in other people. Maybe only one person, if they have even a tiny new thought in their brain, learn something new or start seeing the world in a slightly different way, then these videos achieve their purpose. But at the same time, creating these videos helps me personally a lot. Because look, I have to force myself to rearrange all my thoughts, all this mess in my head. You know, make it clear. And well, when it comes to the topic of happiness, well, it's still a mess. So look, I decided to change my approach before... Every single video I did by now was like scripted from A to Z. Literally every reaction was scripted, but yeah, today I'm just trying to work with the mess in my head live. Maybe it's gonna be better, I don't know, I have no idea. Okay, so let's do it. So money and happiness. So if your goal in life is to be rich, right? Isn't that just wrong? Like, why everyone wants the money in the first place? They want the money because they think it will make them happy. They're chasing money because they're chasing happiness. I think it doesn't work. If you chase happiness, it will not come to you. I believe in this corny Instagram metaphor thingy that, you know, happiness is like a butterfly. If you chase it, you will never catch it. But if you just let everything go and you just be there, either you just have fun or you do something meaningful or you just do anything but not think about happiness directly, then the butterfly that is happiness, it will come and sit on your shoulder. That's how it is with happiness. Like, remember the times when you were the most happy? Were you actively thinking about it? Were you like trying to be happy? <laughs> happiness comes at the most unexpected moments. At least like for me right now. Right now at this moment, I'm happy doing this. And I didn't go here with the intention of like, yeah, I, I want to go here because I want to be happy. I went there with the intention that I want to do something, right? But I wasn't thinking about becoming happy, becoming in this state. And like, look at this. We're, this is even funny. Wait, give me the camera. Like, look at this place, right? There, we are like just three dudes on some random street. One with a computer because we don't have even like a normal yeah. microphone, right? He's filming with his phone because I forgot my camera. And, and it's still the 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 party party yeah. yeah, does that prove my point? I don't know. But happiness doesn't come when expected. You cannot control happiness, in my opinion. There is this perspective. You choose to be happy that happiness is like a lens through which you see the world and you can just put it on and you can be happy at any moment in your life. But nobody, not everybody. Not everybody can do that, right? Yeah. Personally, I, I, I don't get it. I, I tried it, but I just cannot say that I want to be happy right now and just boom, I become happy. Yeah, for some people it's like that, but not for me. I cannot choose my own happiness. Now, am I just weird or overly too honest? I don't know, probably both. But that's what I think. Happiness doesn't come when you focus on it. And that logically ties up to the money problem. If you make money your priority in life, you're thinking that'll make you happy, right? And so you're gonna focus on becoming happy. And that's not how happiness works. The not focusing is key. And so now comes another question. Okay, now let's say you don't focus on happiness. Does money solely, does it bring happiness? Fuck that petty shit. Straight up money, really, I'm asking. Most of these niggas think they- In my opinion, yes. Why? Because it gives you the power to choose what to do. I just creep up from behind and ask you what your interests are. Who you be? Look, money, it opens a lot of doors. It gives you a lot of opportunities to live a lot of different experiences, right? Experiences, that's how I deal with nihilism, that nothing matters, etc., right? But hey, we still landed here. We have to somehow deal with this life. So at least let's have some fun. Let's experience stuff. Let's discover some stuff. 
add well money if you don't have a lot of it it reduces your choice you have less experiences to choose from simply because you can't afford them and by experiences i both mean some crazy exotic traveling but also grocery shopping both of those things are experiences to me, right? But the thing is, I did grocery shopping a lot of times and repeating an experience kind of makes it boring. And that's the thing that the people with less money, they have to repeat the same experience over and over and over. Like imagine the life of a, some kind of middle-class worker, right? Imagine how much of his life he has to lose by, by his daily commute, by car, right? Every day he does the same thing. If he has a repetitive job and does it for 40 years, it's the same thing. He does it over and over and this experience, it gets boring. While the rich people, the ones that have money, instead of wasting time on these repetitive, boring experiences, they can do new things in the meantime, they can discover stuff, they can learn things, they can, I don't know, they, they, there's, they can just use more this time, exactly, they have more possibilities, money gives them, money gives more time. Now, okay, okay, I see you coming that to get rich and to get a lot of money, you have to sacrifice tons of time. You have to put in tons of time and effort into work. And so you won't be happy. But that's the thing. If you think that your work is a time, time sacrifice, it's because the goal of your work or occupation is to get money. You're doing it for the wrong reasons. It, it comes to what I said a minute ago. You're focusing on money, buying you happiness. And in my opinion, that doesn't work. But now, if your job or occupation or whatever, if you do it for other reasons, you do it for passion, or you do it because you want to change something, do something meaningful, and money comes only as, as a bonus, then, only in this case, everything I said about experiences, it works. Like, to put it clearly, if what you do for a living makes you happy even if you do it for free, then the money that you get from it will make you happy. Only then, money will buy happiness. Um, am I nervous? I'm probably a little bit nervous. Don't answer, okay? You're just gonna like poker face everything. I just have to get into the thing. Right. Uh, money and happiness. I said this like 10 times already. I'm trying. Um, this, okay, this is the first time improv. <sighs> yeah. Yeah.